from the Lakeside Newsroom of the Henrico Citizen, your hometown news source since 2001. This is the Henrico News Minute with publisher Tom Lapis. Initial unemployment claims in Henrico skyrocket and Henrico school bus drivers give the school board an earful. We'll have details in today's Henrico News Minute for Monday September 27, 2021. It's brought to you today by Henrico County CSB Prevention Services. And now for the news. Henrico schools officials soon will have 2,500 at-home COVID-19 rapid testing kits to hand out to students who either exhibit symptoms of the virus or who are in close contact with someone who's been infected by it. The Binax Now AG card home test kits that will be offered are antigen tests that use a nasal swab for sample collection and they can return test results in about 15 minutes. Those tests are being provided by the state at no cost to the county. It's part of the state's new Virginia School Screening Testing for Assurance program. The rapid tests are a new component of the program that was introduced just last week by the state. Those tests ought to be distributed to participating school systems by October 1st. Now the main part of the program is routine screening that uses PCR testing of cohorts or designated groups of students or staff members. Plans are apparently in the works for Henrico School to sign up for that program too. Henrico School's Chief of Staff Beth Teigen told the citizen last week, quote, it's not in place but it's where we're going. Our intent is truly that we will be doing that, end quote. At last week's Henrico School Board meeting, the board got an earful from a number of Henrico school bus drivers who said they're overwhelmed, tired, fatigued, and stressed. Drivers said that it's been difficult to complete paperwork and forced assigned seating and in many cases run double routes. Driver Brenda Riddell, who's been with the school system for nine years, told the board during a public comment period Quote, would you put your child on a plane with a pilot under these conditions or would you put your child in the taxi with the driver under these conditions? No, you would not because it's unsafe, end quote. At Thursday's meeting, the school system's chief of operations, Lenny Pritchard, said that there are still about 100 vacancies for drivers, but there are 50 candidates in various stages of the hiring process. Seven are finishing class, 14 started class last week. Three student drivers will begin this week, and another 10 are scheduled for the October 13th class. Filling another 50 positions would put the school system back to where it is during most normal years, according to Pritchard. During the first week of school, the transportation team recorded more than 500 double runs each day, but that's now been reduced to 236 double runs and 15 triple runs. Most of those are occurring in the three chopped and Tuckahoe districts. You can read much more on the bus driver situation on HenricoCitizen.com by clicking on News and then Education. A week after Henrico registered its lowest total of initial unemployment claims since the beginning of the pandemic, those claims nearly quadrupled during the most recent week, according to the Virginia Employment Commission. Henrico saw 242 initial claims during the week of September 12th through 18th after just 67 the week Prior, new claims were the most in a single week in the county since mid-August. But first-time claims in Henrico were still well below the totals of many other large localities. Henrico is the sixth largest in the state, but ranked just 15th in the most initial claims filed during the most recent week. Statewide, nearly 16,000 people filed initial claims, a staggering increase of more than 12,000 from the previous week. On Thursday and Friday, the Academy at Virginia Randolph at 2204 Mountain Road will hold its fall plant sale from 8.30 to 4.30 each day. The sale will feature a large selection of plants, including vegetables and pollinator-friendly perennials at low prices. Students have been working to prepare those plants for the event. All sales are by check or cash only. The Henrico 4-H is offering super science STEM kits to provide second through fifth graders with fun at home educational activities. The kits are available for $20 each. They include all the necessary supplies. 
and activities are based on science, technology, engineering, and math subjects. You can order them online. They'll be available for pickup midway through next month. If you have questions, call 501-5160. We also have a link on our website. If you'd like to order one of these kits, you can visit HenricoCitizen.com, click on News, and then Education to find this article. As we all strive to do our part during this extraordinary time, Henrico Area Mental Health serves as your local and public mental health agency continuing to do its part. We all experience mental health challenges, especially during extreme challenging times. It doesn't matter your age, gender, race, or ethnicity. Each person is affected differently. If you're a resident of Charles City, New Kent, or Henrico counties, and you, a family member or friend or someone you know, may need someone to talk to about the mental health challenges being experienced. Do your part and call us at 804-727-8515. That's 804-727-8515. We're here to help. Remember, mental health is good health. Call Henrico Area Mental Health at 804-727-8515. That number again is 804-727-8515. This message comes to you from Henrico County CSB Prevention Services.